A lot of friends. Well, I never counted them before, Silbert, but sure, you have lots of friends. Well, like who? Like Cammy, for instance. Yes, yeah, Silbert, I'm your very, very best friend. Ahem, huh? ahem. I, Fogel the Feathered, have never found a friend finer than you, Silbert. Rosie, Rosie, the mail's here. Melvin, are you my friend? Oh. Absolutely. Delivering the mail wouldn't be the same without you and all my friends here at the Cub House. Wow. And Rosie, you're my friend too? You betcha. That's why taking care of everyone at the Cub House is so much fun, because we're all such great friends. Friends. We are friends. A friend is someone more special than the rest. Friends. We are friends. Someone you like a lot. You out. That's what friends are all about. Friends, we are friends. You can have more than one, it's an easy thing to do. Friends, we are friends. And one of my very best friends is you. And one of my very best friends is you. You know, Silbert, making new friends can really be exciting. Yeah. Is it hard to make new friends, Rosie? I don't know. Let's see how Johnson and his friends did it. Johnson was a small stuffed elephant who lived in Michael's bedroom. Most of the time he was very, very happy. Sometimes he was sad. The sort of sadness that creeps up on you when you least expect it. Uh, it's no use. I'm still feeling sad, said Johnson. I must do something to cheer myself up. I know. I need a friend. Johnson looked around for a friend. Ball! But there wasn't a single one in sight. Oh, goodness gracious me. How do you find a friend? Trunk, will you be my friend? Hooray! Now I have a friend. Oh, but I still feel sad and lonely. Just then, huh? he heard a strange sound coming from the toy box. Help me, please! Is anybody there? Help! Said a wheezy, whiny little voice. Johnson decided to investigate. He tried to look as stern and as important as he possibly could. Who's that hiding in Michael's box? Let me out! Please let me out! I'm going to count to three, and if you don't come out, I'm going to go in there and pull you out. One. Hmm. One. Unfortunately, Johnson had never counted to three before. One. 
One, here I come. Hurry, please. my life without you I would have been stuck in there forever oh that's all right I hope you're not a burglar because if you are I'll call the police and then you'll go to jail a burglar where where a burglar where where I'm not a burglar. I'm McDuff. And I'm not a burglar. I'm Johnson. Oh, they said shyly. And they both looked at each other, getting to know each other, and liking what they saw. But Johnson was a little puzzled. Hang on a minute. How did you get into Michael's toy box? I was looking for a friend. I'm looking for a friend, too. You are? I hope you find one. I hope you find one, too. <sighs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <sighs> now, Johnson really didn't want to go because he liked Macduff a lot, even though she was the funniest-looking creature he'd ever seen. He'd never met a concertina before. And Macduff didn't want to go either, because even though Johnson looked very strange, with all those funny parts and pieces waving on him, he seemed very nice. Excuse me. Did you say something? Well, I was just thinking, since we're both looking for a friend, and we both need a friend, perhaps we could both look for a friend together. That's the best idea I ever heard. Well, let's go. Yay! <laughs> Not far away, Diesel, Michael's toy truck, found himself trapped between the leg of the bed and a building block. Hello, we're looking for a friend. No time for friends. I'm too busy. Anyway, a friend would get me unstuck. That's what a friend would do, don't you think? Johnson thought so too, so he removed the building block. Watch the furniture! Johnson, he's wrecking the bedroom! <laughs> you got me unstuck. You're my friend. <laughs> Did you hear that, McDuff? Eh? I found a friend! <laughs> Johnson was very happy. He couldn't believe he found a friend so easily. <laughs> Meanwhile, Macduff had become very sad. She would have to find a friend on her own. It made her feel lonelier than ever. <sighs> Where are you going, Macduff? I'm glad you found a friend, Johnson. But I've got to find one, too. If there are any left. Bye. It's been nice meeting you. It's been nice meeting you. <laughs> oh, well, we can't all have friends, said Diesel with great finality. Now, what shall we do first? Have an adventure or play Crashers? <laughs> crashers? Rum, 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 rum. That doesn't sound safe. <laughs> That. Johnson didn't want to play crashes. He knew Michael's mother wouldn't want them running into the furniture. I have a friend. Very noisy friend. But McDuff doesn't have anyone. If I lose McDuff, it'll be just like losing a friend. Oh, losing a friend. McDuff! McDuff! Wait for me! Where's he gone? Macduff? Johnson found Macduff trying to hide in the toy box. I've been looking for you. No, you go on and play. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right, I suppose. But I am worried about you. You're my friend. 
I am? We've been friends ever since we met. We have? Of course. We like each other, don't we? We do? We do! I found a friend! I Yay! finally found a friend! Yay! 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 Hey, what about me? You're supposed to be my friend. It's not fair. We can all be friends. There's no law that says you can't have more than one friend. Ugh, friends with her? Oh. Why not? Oh, I've never thought about it, that's all. Good. Then it's all settled. We're all friends together. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Just then, they heard Michael's mother walking toward the bedroom door. After that, it was very quiet in the bedroom for the rest of the day. But Johnson daydreamed very happily because in just a few hours, he had made not just one, but two friends. <sighs> it was just a pity he couldn't count to two. Well, not yet. Johnson, Diesel, and Macduff loved exploring, and there were a lot of places to explore in Michael's bedroom. But when Diesel told Johnson he wanted to explore under the bed, Johnson, well, why don't we go exploring under the bed? That was a different matter. Oh, I don't think you want to do that. Why not? We've never been under the bed before. Yeah, why not, Johnson? Because there are lots of stories about under the bed, and none of them are pleasant. Like what? Tell us. Well, I've heard there are monster toys under the bed. <gasps> monster toys? And a hole that goes down to the center of the earth. A hole that goes to the center of the earth? And worse. What could be worse than monster toys? Or a hole that goes to the center of the earth. Michael keeps his dirty socks under the bed. <gasps> Dirty socks? Ew, yuck. Well, dirty socks or not, I'm going under the bed to see for myself. <laughs> so am I. It would be nice if you came too. <laughs> oh, I don't suppose I can let you go by yourselves, can I? You never know what trouble you might get into. But... This will be the most exciting adventure we've ever had. So we'll have to think ahead. Now, come here, you two. Yeah, well. It took the toys ages to get ready for the adventure. <laughs> the long day faded, sunset turned the sky red, and it wasn't until nighttime when Michael was tucked in bed, fast asleep, that the toys were ready to begin. Johnson carried Michael's flashlight and wore an explorer's hat, which made him look adventurous and very, very brave. <coughs> Macduff wore a bandana to ward off the nasty smells from Michael's dirty socks. And Diesel had brought along a rope to pull out anyone who fell into the hole that went right down to the center of the earth which might or might not be under the bed. Let's go. We creep across the bedroom floor. We sidle past the open door. Their first job was actually to find the bed, which, because of Michael's mess, was very hard to see.
to the window sill. The night is dark and all is still. It must be time for a rest. Let's stop. We must have been traveling for hours. Look, Johnson. If you face this way, you can see the stars. What are stars? Probably other bedrooms, just like ours. And maybe those stars have toys in them, just like us. And they're having adventures, just like ours. Is that right, Johnson? Oh, we'd better keep moving. Otherwise, we'll never reach the bed at all. Come on, we won't find the bed in the closet. Never had the toys felt closer, which is just what it's like when you embark on a big adventure and stray into new and unfamiliar territory. We come, we search, we probe ahead. Will we ever find the bed? When they got entangled in the mess by Michael's door, they became hopelessly lost. I think we're walking around in circles. I'm sure we've been past this spot three times already. I didn't know Michael was so messy. If we don't find our way out soon, we'll be stuck here forever. Where's Macduff? I thought she was with you. I thought she was with you. Now we've lost Macduff. I thought I warned both of you we had to stick together. Hey, Johnson, Diesel, come and see what I found. <laughs> Look, it's the bed. We found it. Oh, wow. Hooray, we found it. Hooray, yippee. Hooray! Don't make so much noise, Macduff. You'll wake Hooray! Michael. And besides, we don't know what might be under there. Oh, it looks scary in there. Who's going first, you or Macduff? But this whole expedition was your idea, Diesel. We'll all go together. Ready? Coming, Diesel? Hey. <laughs> Me and my stupid ideas. Careful, this could be dangerous. It was so dark under the bed, Johnson couldn't even see his trunk in front of his face. And all three of them huddled close together. Ow! Who's that? Me, Johnson. Thanks, Johnson. You just stepped on my wheel. Ow, Diesel! You just ran over me. Mm. <gasps> Ow, Macduff! You just stood on my trunk. Oh! <laughs> Was that you, Macduff? No. Was that you, Johnson? No. Then who was it? It was me! What the blithering blazes! What was that? A monster toy? I might have known it. A chap can't get a bit of peace anywhere these days. I have a good mind to report you all to somebody. Are you a monster toy? <laughs> Me? A monster toy? Ha! I don't think so. I'm Alfred. I thought I was a hot water bottle, but with all this fuss and bother going on, I don't know who I am anymore. Michael's hot water bottle? That's right. Until I got a leak. Michael's mother was going to throw me away, so I hid under the bed for a bit of peace. Peace? Ha! Blithering blazers? Despite Alfred's gruff manner, the toys were quite interested in this leaky green hot water bottle. They forgot their fear and followed him back under the bed. We're sorry, but we've been exploring. Why? To see what's there. Where? Everywhere. Sounds like a perfectly silly idea to me. We've been to the door and to the window, and now we've been under the bed. Yes, I already know that. Well, you could come exploring with us if you like, Alfred. What? Me? I must admit, nobody's ever asked me to go exploring before. What's it like? Is it dangerous? Very dangerous. Oh, and 
Scary? Really scary. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go exploring! Yay! Yay, Yay yippee! 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 Yay! Follow me. So that was the end of the big adventure under the bed. Fortunately, there weren't any dirty socks. Michael's father had washed them the day before. And there wasn't a hole to the center of the earth either. There are no holes to the center of the earth. Oh, look at that. But there was a new friend, and friends are always worth finding, even if they live under beds. Ow! Oh. What what you're doing, you silly toys? Toys, toys, wonderful toys. Great things for girls and great things for boys. Toys made of metal and plastic and wood. All sorts of toys so special, so good. Toys made of metal and plastic and wood. All sorts of toys so special, so good.